Hey guys, how are you today? So I'm just going to make a video on what happened inside the greenhouse. So it was definitely an oh no moment. And it just, you just learn from experience. There's definitely going to have those rough days where things are just going to go wrong. So I, the one night I asked my mom to turn off the little heater fan. Um, it was on fan just the fan setting and the temperature was put all the way up so it would wouldn't go off and it would just circulate air I told her to switch it back to heat for the night and turn the temperature gauge down well she did not turn the temperature gauge down during the night time I bet you it was probably getting a little too warm for nighttime temperatures but um, during the daytime was when the problem began and it probably was only daytime like five hours before I got here and it definitely um, it definitely showed what ha can happen in such short of a time period the temperature got all the way up to 106 degrees because it was sunny that day and um, I took the vent off because it gets too hot um, well it gets too hot in here at nighttime and I just don't want all that air escaping. Um, so, long story short, I come in here and it smells like burnt plants. And I'm looking around and I'm seeing a couple of plants literally just... Like, they weren't dead quite yet, but they were getting there. And things you could tell were just shriveled up because they had... The hot air had just sucked all the water out of them. And the first one I'll show you is this skunky era. And you can see the leaves are literally cooked. So I think it'll be fine. The pseudobulbs are still fine. Um, they're a little shriveled, but it's got some new growth coming on it. So it's just set back. Let's just say that. Um, here is my LC log tone. SD and um, it got burnt and I wouldn't even say this is sunburn it's definitely heat damage I have my bubble wrap up plus a 30% shade cloth so that the sun gets broken up enough um, it definitely doesn't burn my plants this is definitely heat damage um, for sure but there is that I was kind of aggravated at that time, but it is the Christmas season, so why be aggravated? We have to be happy about things. Here is my Master Video Red Wing, and you can hear it's crispy. But luckily, we have growth that survived the heat. So there is new growth in there, but this is definitely one of the ones that you could smell that it was literally burnt like this is like, baked seriously it was like an oven in here and just like my oncidium twinkle um it was getting ready to bloom i was so excited look at the leaves yep so this won't be coming to the meeting in the beginning of january um there's a spike completely dead this spike is dead. It's brown. 
and then the other spikes seem to be all right but the flowers that had opened already didn't like they're not looking good they look like they're just going to fall off um, but this spike is completely dead uh, so the shrimp like the pseudo bulbs are pretty much just like paper thin when I found it and they plump back a little bit so I'm happy about that I'm going to end up um miss real well before I leave tomorrow morning um but I just wanted to show you this because I don't want you all to feel bad for me I want you all to learn from my mistakes uh don't like I know my mom didn't mean to keep that on but it happened and things did happen and I threw a couple of my plants out they were just odds and ends I was going to do spring cleaning and those were ones that hadn't done well for me from the start and they just well the heat just finished them off so it did like make things speed up the heat did like very much so so we had this open up um this is the Lutea alba varro districta and um you can see it's pretty little blooms there's only going to be three but that's okay we'll enjoy those three while they last uh, it's doing very well otherwise i noticed that when the heat got to it that new roots that were going everywhere didn't end up doing very well but they i can already see them opening their little root tips back up so that's good um things in spike definitely progressed a lot so <laughs> that's the only thing good about warm weather is um well not even warm weather i love warm weather but when it's hot like that it's really bad um all these buds have really started to get bigger and um the spikes have elongated so i'm 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 happy about it about this progressing a little faster so that was that there's a few pseudo bulbs here and there that just look very unhappy but i think for the most part everything's gonna be okay um we have my i'm not gonna pull it out today you've seen it a lot it's just my uh psychopsis mendenhall it has two buds on it again blooms on it again because it's blooming um and then there's odds and ends really um starting to get ready to bloom luckily i didn't lose all my spikes this is the uh, phalaenopsis shirleyana and it's gonna branch off there and then the buds you can see have started to form at the very end so i'm happy about this beautiful nice mottled leaves and i just really enjoy this plant i don't think it would do as well if i didn't have it in the greenhouse here um, that's for sure so i think it really likes it in here that little extra humidity and by the way the humidity <laughs> that was killed too when i walked in here i think it was like 16 percent so i spent all afternoon watering really really well and i turned the humidifier on for the rest of the night just to try to get that humidity back up and i got it back up it was 70 something the next morning so I was happy about that. Like I said, it's really easy to get the humidity back up in a greenhouse. So that's all I have for you today. Um, I don't know if I'm going to end up making another video before Christmas. But if I don't, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to all of you. I want to just say thank you so much for making my channel. You guys make my channel. It's not me. It's you all. Um, you come here and watch my videos. And I really do appreciate that. I promise once we get to a thousand subscribers we will do a giveaway sadly it'll only be for the US but um, it's just really hard to do overseas giveaways but I just wanted to say thank you alright guys bye